Hey everyone, Michael from Xano here. In this tutorial, I want to go over the delete record function, which simply just deletes a record from our Xano database table. So if I go into my function stack, go to database request, and then go to delete record here, let's go ahead and select the product table. Uh, you can see that on this inputs tab, where you need to find a record by a field. Uh, so the field name is defaulted to ID. However, uh, Xana will pull in all the different fields or column names from that database table we want to delete a record for. So right here we have ID. Field value is the actual value we want to find and delete. Typically this will be an input. Um, can also be a variable from your function stack. So for example, if I do a table reference to this product table here, and I come back to this delete record and simply just map up that product ID and hit save. Well now when I go and run this, I can go ahead and delete product ID one and we get a success. Everything ran successfully. So because we're deleting a record, we are removing it completely. So even though we're returning um, this product one variable, it's not going to exist anymore. So typically if we're just deleting a record, we don't even need to return anything in the response. Now sometimes we want to delete multiple records at one time. So how do we do that? So for this example, let's say that in my product table, we want to find all the records that belong to user ID three and actually delete them. And if we check our database real quick, uh, I believe there are three records. So let's go ahead and see how we can delete all three of those records. I'm just going to go back here. So first thing we need to do, let's go ahead and get rid of this product ID is we need to actually find all those records. And the way to do that is with a query all records function from our product. So what we can say here is we can um, do an input to the user ID, because remember, we're going to want to find all the records in our product table that belong to user ID three. We'll go into our by custom query section, and this allows us just to define the conditions on based which all those records are queried. We can say where our product user ID is equal to our input user ID. Great. So what this does is it's going to get us a list of products. So anytime you're dealing with a list, we're going to need to iterate through them with a for each loop. So now I'll go to data manipulation loop for each loop. And what I can do here is drag my delete record within it. The list that I'm going to iterate through is going to be all those products that I'm finding belonging to user ID three. And then in my delete record here, we're going to call this list item, each iteration of it. So in my delete record, instead of this product ID, which we had before, I can actually go ahead and choose this item variable and write dot notation to grab the ID of each iteration. So I'll save that. And now when I go ahead and run this for user ID three, it's first going to find all the records that belong to user ID three. We're going to iterate through each item that's found, call it item. And then we're going to delete each of those records uh, based just on that ID field. So if I go ahead and run this, you can see it was a success. And if we come back to our product table, all those records belonging to user ID three have now been removed. 